Hello everyone in Katribu. Welcome to Kalingang Katribu. My name is Vernon Velasco and today we are joined by Jezamine uh, Wallace, owner of uh, Bakeyard, to basically talk about her two passions against the backdrop of the pandemic. Hello, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Jess, how do I call you? Jess or Jasmine? Uh, Jess na lang. Okay, Jess. Yeah, first off, I wanna make a musta. So, how are you? How how is your 2021? I mean, um, it has been two years into the pandemic, and how uh, yeah. how are you holding out? Um, actually, since last year, mm -hmm. it was a huge adjustment for me. Uh, work wise, as a, as a teacher, because uh, we shifted everything to online, mm -hmm. online and modular. Yeah, and since last year as well, we closed the shop namin indefinitely, mm -hmm. and then um. Diba, na also yung mga online shops, pati yung mga online baking businesses. So, uh, we lost the chance to gain more customers sana during the mm -hmm. pandemic. But, you know, for safety reasons then we chose to stop our operations. Even yung day job ko as a teacher needs to adapt to the changing norms as well. Okay. Then, we were also shocked to know at that time na I was also pregnant. So, mm -hmm. nag-ingat kami ng maigi talaga. So, ang laking adjustment na ginagawa namin up until now, Mm -hmm. nung nag kami sa business. But this year, we were able to reopen mm -hmm. and uh, we were glad the, that the customers are still interested to order our products and they are still waiting na kailan ka ba mag-open ulit? Kailan ka ba mag-bake ulit? So, yun, masaya kami na ano, uh, mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. uh, we were able to meet the target naman. Mm -hmm. What was uh, what was the main factor that sort of held you back? Because, you know, uh, the internet is basically an enabler, eh? pero it's uh, very interesting to know that your business was actually halted during the pandemic, no matter it's mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what held me back last mm -hmm. year, because ano eh, um, it's a busy year for mm -hmm. us teachers last year. Talaga. So, mm -hmm. um, lahat kami nag a adjust yung bagong system ng mga online classes. So, for me, parang, uh, where's the time? Ano pang time po? Saan ko pa kukunin yung time po to continue the business? Mm -hmm. Then, another thing pa is yung health, health ko rin because I was uh, at risk, no? Yes. Dahil pregnant ako that time. So, yun. Um, um, for me naman, happy naman ako ngayon na ano eh, buti nakabalik kami sa business this year. Mm -hmm. Kasi I'm, I'm also waiting for this to come. Yeah. So since we're at it, so let's talk about your concept bakery store bakeyard. So mm -hmm. how is it? All right. So mm -hmm. uh, the concept of our business kasi is more on creating customized cakes for different special occasions. Fancy. So customized cake kasi mm -hmm. is a uh, no, very detail oriented type of confection. Mm -hmm. So in order lang talaga siya if there are special events to celebrate like weddings, debut, baptismals and the like. So, the cakes should not only taste good, but it has to look great also. Mm -hmm. So, aside from it, we also offer uh, no, cheesecake sampler and okay. artisan breads kapag mga walang production ng cakes. Mm -hmm. And then, um, from if you're going to talk about the history ng bakeyard, no? mm -hmm. how it started. Yes. So, it started in year 2015 mm -hmm. as a home bakery business. So, six so until years. naman, home bakery business pa rin kami. No? So, since yeah. then, we would create our cakes and pastries at home. So, basically, so, you have, uh, it's a home business, but there's no hole in the wall, basically. 
Mm-mm, yeah. Mm. So, it, ano, talagang from the kitchen ng aming bahay. So, kaya nga, Bakeyard din yung name niya eh. Kasi, okay. ano, it gives me like a homey vibe or homey feeling. Kasi, Bakeyard, mm-hmm. talagang, we would literally bake in our small backyard at home. Okay. Sa likod ng bahay namin na ginawa rin namin kitchen before. So, dun ang galing yung name na Bakeyard. So, um, I'm sure many of those who has small online business can relate din na, uh, ano, no, from having a day job at the same time managing a business mm. at home. So we've seen actually very fancy confections uh, a while ago. So mm-hmm. among all of those, what what are your best sellers? Ah uh, yeah. So mm-hmm. um, best seller ko what I until now siguro yung an an. Ayan. Because mm-hmm. I know, diba, It's not like the common and say mad as a bakery because. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, I can hear you well. All right. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know, as I we have different, apparently, we have a version of Ensay Mad. We have different flavors like uh, cheddar cheese, mm-hmm. this, ano, ube, triple ube cheese, and then we have salted egg, where we have queso de bola. Salted egg cake? Um, uh, the Ensay Mad, salted oh. egg. But, but, I know, cheesecake. So, okay. we, ha- we also have salted egg. Uh, cheesecake at uh, tama cheesecake and ano queso de bola bibingka pala bibingka I mean. yan so yun yung mga best seller namin and then right now ang ano pinaka na order namin is yung cream cheese mm-hmm. and saimada yon so basically all of these are actually done by you so ikaw mm-hmm. lahat ng nagano ng designs ganyan yes opo yeah. actually hindi lang ako kasi kapag ka customized talaga you are required to work with your clients no yeah. about their preferences sa budget nila ganyan and basically your designs can actually pass for a, a very unique proposition eh. so aside mm-hmm. from that what's your unique service proposition that you know that's just be beyond how the cakes look like ay so for me, ano kasi, ang dami na rin kasi talagang nag-offer ng ganitong mm-hmm. klaseng business ngayon. Especially when the pandemic started, no? But for me kasi, ang pinaka siguro unique na masasabi ko dito is uh, the ingredients that we use. Mm-hmm. Talagang we make sure na, ano lang, high quality of ingredients lang ang gagamitin namin for mm-hmm. our, ano, for our cakes and pastries. Okay. And also, syempre, yung after sales service. Okay. So, so, before we take a short short break, though, I just wanna ask this question. How do you sort of um, step on this balancing act? You're a teacher. Um, you were once actually halted by, you know, by your uh, very, very busy schedule. So, does something have to give way? Um, I mean, right now, I mean, uh, this year, how do you plan it? I mean, are you going to go full-blown? Uh, this year, siguro hindi pa, no? <laughs> Kasi, ano talaga eh, um, you know, teaching is my bread and butter okay. as of now. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, siguro when the time comes, if like, uh, when an opportunity comes, sana ma-full-blown na namin. Kasi sayang din talaga yung opportunity na ma-ano namin may expand namin yung business namin no kasi yun din talaga yung one of the objective ko is to have a physical store mm-hmm. physical store na para pagkagano kasi mas nakikilala yung business eh no yung hindi lang sa online correct yeah there goes Jasmine Wallace you are watching Kalingang Katribu uh, we're going to be back after a short break every time i'm on the road i can expect high performance from phoenix fuels Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. With Globe, our steps can lead us to millions of doors opening, millions of paths unfolding, and millions of reasons to keep going. Now's the time to be with the network that gets better every day for you. Manong Joe po. At Ate Maita. Ngayong Hunyo, bahagyang tumaas ng 8 centavos per kilowatt hour ang overall electricity rates. Ito'y dahil sa dagdag sinil sa WSM. Alam niyo ba, pwede kayong i-update ng Meralco sa text or sa email gaya ni Sarah G. Sisendan kayo ng advanced updates tulad ng upcoming bill details. Di na kayo kakabaka ba sa paghihintay ng bills? At ano mang mangyari sa bill? Masira, mabasa o mawala? No problem! To get updates, i-update ang inyong contact information sa Facebook Messenger, meralco.com.ph 
email hotline16211 o Meralco Business Centers. Handa kami makipag-ugnayan sa inyo para makapaghatid ng mas mabuti, mabilis, at pagkinhawang serbisyo. Hanggang sa susunod na Meralco Advisory! You are watching Kalingang Katribu with Bakeyards Jez Wala. So Jez, kanina while on a break, um, somebody asked, "Wow, uh, those cakes are really aesthetically appealing. They, ma mm -hmm. they must be very, very tasty as well." Mm -hmm. um, so while everybody actually is self-isolating, I, I, as in the bulk, the bulk of the people, um, do you sort of have, you know, while they have this baking as a passion, as an acquired taste, basically, um, mm -hmm. do you have? Um, a recipe to share. A recipe to share. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have launched a YouTube channel then mm -hmm. last year during the pandemic. No, I have shared there a recipe ng sans rival. Mm -hmm. Yan, yun. So yan. it's uh, no very free to share talaga yung recipe na yan. So it's a good recipe then na uh, pwede kong ibigay. Yan, yan, yan. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ano, yun nga lang, medyo complicated siya kasi uh, you need mixer, tapos yan. Mm. So, Sans, Sans Rival is very foolproof to, ano, to, to basically prepare? Mm -mm. Kasi ano eh, yung merang is very delicate, no? Yung egg whites, you know, like uh, how you properly mix the egg whites then. But ano, siguro mm. I can share yung uh, kung very easy recipe talaga, mga cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Sa mga starters, ha? Mm. Star kasi doon din ako nag-start. <laughs> mga oh. no-bake cheesecakes. Cheesecake. <laughs> Yun. Correct. Just I was wondering what kind of feedback are you sort of getting from your clients? I, I mean, how well-received uh, are your products pa? Ayun, mostly positive naman yung mga feedback na mm. nare-receive ko. Like, uh, they always say na, Uy, tamang-tama lang yung tamis ng cake. Ganyan. Tapos, kasi diba, uh, pag nakita mo fondant, parang sobrang tamis yan because yeah. puro powdered sugar yan. Ganyan. Pero mm -hmm. once I taste naman yung cake, talagang ano, positive pa rin yung feedback. And uh, na-appreciate nila yung effort nung paggawa nung ano, design ng cake. Mm -hmm. Yan. And how much orders are you getting at your peak? Siguro sa mga uh, sa customized state, no? Kasi, kasi ako mm -hmm. lang mag-isa ang gumagawa talaga, eh, no? Oh. Yung husband ko, tumutulong lang din sa akin, mag-need ng fondant, ganyan. Mm -hmm. So, um, for customized state, maximum po na siguro is three cakes in one week. In one week. Yan. Okay. Kasi matagal talaga siyang gawin. It okay. will take you siguro mga minimum of six hours, mm -hmm. no? Six to eight hours sa isang cake. Especially if yung mga wedding cake, mga two, three, uh, two tier or three mm -hmm. tier cakes. Ganyan. Ganun talaga pag may puso eh, no, Jess? Mm -hmm. yeah. Talaga. Mag-exert ka ng time and effort for your product. So, when do you sort of, ano, where, where do you, ano, where do you draw inspiration from? Yon, <laughs> inspiration. Talagang malalim ang inspiration ko dito sa pagbe-bake na to. Kasi if I'm going back to where I've started in 2015, mm -hmm. um, I was a, uh, siguro one year pa lang ako nagtuturo noon. Back mm -hmm. then, I stopped working as a teacher. Kasi uh -huh. I also gave birth at that time as a firstborn ko. Mm -hmm. So basically, I was unemployed. So, aside from being unemployed, I was also a stay-at-home mom. Then, out of curiosity and siguro boredom na rin, I needed to look for a hobby that I'm interested in. And that was either ano, desserts or arts. Kasi mm. hilig ko kasi mag-DIY noon. Mm -hmm. Then, I was thinking, ano kaya magandang i-business sa dalawa? And I came to realize, why not pagsamahin ko yung dalawang concept na yun? And then, I started joining baking groups on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Tapos, na-inspire ako sa mga members because they're uh, there are also uh, home bakers na nasa bahay lang or uh, working moms. So, that baking support group was a huge mm. help for me to start my baking business. Mm. Kasi na-introduce ako into the basics of baking. Tapos mm. nakakatuwang makita na pwede pala i-integrate yung creative juices mo into these kinds of confections or desserts. Yes. So, <clears throat> ang custom cakes kasi needs to be aesthetically appealing no? para mm -hmm. maging patok sa consumers. So, that's where the inspo came from. I did found 
uh, baking to be very peaceful because it's also a good form of therapy mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. And the end result produced a ano, wonderful type of dessert. So, habang nagpo-progress ako with my skill level, uh, mm-hmm. from this baking journey, yung, yung hobby ko na turn ko into a business. Yeah. Diba, it's so beautiful. It's, ano, alam mo yun, napaka nakakapanghinayang kainin eh. Yeah, so totoo. Yun din ang com- ano, uh, feedback na nakukuha ko sa mga ano, customers ko. But they have no choice. Talaga kailangan nila kainin. Eh. Hindi naman siya sayang kasi masarap naman daw talaga. <laughs> yeah. So you're considering um, shifting business model in in your expansion. So traditionally, bakery concepts are a community thing. Eh. Di ba? Parang mm-hmm. people go to this bakery because, you know, magkakilala sila or ano ba yes. ganyan. Mm-mm. So tapos abot kaya. Mm-mm. Yeah, abot kaya. So is your brick and mortar hole in the wall um, concept of expansion will be possible when mm. you, when you are ano when you are hands on na talaga fully. Ah, yes, I think oh naman kasi ano mm-hmm. eh, aside from the customized cakes, no, parang ang sarap lang kasi i-display ng mga customized cakes mo sa store. Mm-hmm. Then aside from that, pwede kang mag offer ng mga uh, coffee, tapos yung cheesecake mo and the breads, pwedeng tambayan yung store mo. Parang ganun yung na-visualize ko na ano, na ayun, hole in the wall <laughs> business. Uh-huh. Yun. So, ganun. Feeling ko naman possible siya. So, matagal na rin namin siyang pinagpaplanuhan ng husband ko. So, so in terms of price point, mm-hmm. where do your products fall? Um... As much as I want to say na parang nasa pricey size siya, kung, kung i-compare natin siya sa mga commercialized cakes, sa mga mall, no? Nandun siya sa, ano eh, uh, pricey side, no? Mm-hmm. Pero, ano, as much as possible, gusto ko siyang gawing affordable for my, ano eh, for my clients. So, ang ginagawa ko na lang dito is, uh, I'm asking them directly na rin if they have a budget ba? Because mm-hmm. it's a customized cake, no? We can custom the designs based on your budget. So, nami-meet pa rin ng customers yung budget nila. And at the same time, um, yung expectations nila sa output mm-hmm. ng cake, no? hindi sila na-disappoint. Mm-hmm. So, so, now, yeah. so, now that you are sharing your, ano, your, your story, many are actually inspired by your mm-hmm. passion project. Um, Thank you. What is your, what is your, what is your advice uh, to those who want to start a business when it's really, 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 literally scary? Um, ano, do not be intimidated lang by the mm. process of baking. Kasi unlike in cooking, no, baking is a this bath. <laughs> baking is science. Mm-hmm. Uh, you need to be precise with the ingredients and measurements. Mm. So ma- marami na intimidate sa ganun kasi uh, if you don't follow your recipe religiously, mm-hmm. yung tantsa-tantsa hindi siya kasi uubra sa baking eh. It mm-hmm. could mess up your finished product. So if you think you have the resources, Uh, set of skills, try baking kahit mga simple recipes lang. Mm. And if you're planning to make it a business, don't, don't be afraid to take the risk. Kasi that's one vital competency of an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Na always believe na may bibili at magtitiwala sa'yo. Mm-hmm. And second advice ko siguro is to innovate your products. Mm-hmm. Because there is a tough competition out there. And uh, most of the people love to try something new. As much as possible, offer new and unique products that will catch the attention of the market. Mm-hmm. I know it's uh, it's our passion, baking and teaching, de ba? But how do you sort mm-hmm. of find that sweet spot, eh, to mm-hmm. ano, to to invest your money on? How how did you sort of hedge your bets? Like, um, how to find a business idea? Um, siguro ano lang. Uh, hanapin mo lang kung ano yung kung saan ka interesado, mm-hmm. no? Uh, if you're interested in arts and crafts, so why not pursue or make it in a business, no? Ako kasi, I'm a TLE teacher. Mm-hmm. So, uh, as a teacher, ang tinuturo ko talaga is cooking, baking, ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, naya-apply ko rin siya, mm-hmm. no? So, natuturo ko din sa mga students ko yung, ano, yung ginagawa ko sa business ko. So, naisishare ko rin sa kanila. Yes, yeah, so, oh, very connected siya. And so, yeah. Where do we find you, Jess? Oh, you can find me on Instagram mm-hmm. and Facebook. Okay. Uh, you are watching Kalingang Katribu with Jess Tarka Wallace. We're going to read the lighter side of Jess when we come back.
you are watching Kalingang Katribu with Backyards, uh, Jess Wallace. So Jess, hello. Hello. Yeah, in this segment, we are going to play a little game. It's called Never Have I Ever. So basically, you're just going to answer questions that would sort of reveal very unflattering views about you, joke lang. <laughs> Pero, <laughs> Ang hirap niya na. <laughs> no, joke. Pero ano, you're going to answer and then you're, uh, you're going to explain. To okay, sure. elucidate further, uh, okay. so to speak. So first question, um, never have I ever thought of quitting teaching to focus on business. Uh, this has been answered, Kinil, but I want you to mm-hmm. speak more okay. on that. Okay. Um, never, okay. never. So as I've said earlier, nga, no, that mm-hmm. teaching is my bread and butter. And so as I love baking, I also love teaching the students. Kasi nakaka-touch yung makikita mo sila nag-graduate and babalik sila sa sa'yo no, na magte-thank you. So yun, nakaka-flutter yun. I, I love seeing my students ano, be successful din. So yun. Yan, mga katibu, never let go of a passion to give way to another passion. Yes. <laughs> <Ito>. <laughs> never have I ever... Um, planned on baking for a charitable cause? I have. Actually, mm-hmm. I'm planning right now no, na mag-open ng parang bake sale uh, event. Mm-hmm. Pa- tapos, siguro, i-ano ko rin siya sa school namin because we're having ano din, eh, yung parang brigada eskwela namin. Mm-hmm. Yan. So, the proceeds will go to the school para mm-hmm. sa mga ano, gamit na mga bata for uh, this school year. And how do you envision it to be? Sana maging successful. No? <laughs> Sana maging successful. Dahil, ano, very supportive talaga yung mga friends ko talaga. Kapag ka nag-open ako ng mga slots for ano, orders, <laughs> sila talaga nakasold out eh. <laughs> <laughs> Just have you ever had a celebrity customer? Never. 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 Mostly, ano lang, mga food bloggers nice. sa Instagram. So, we send them uh, goods or yung mga pastries namin. In exchange. Then yeah. For a post. Yan. If so, if you were to have a celebrity customer, who would she be or he be? Or would Ay, you squeal? Kasi, <laughs> gusto ko si Catherine Bernardo. <laughs> <laughs> They actually do it, no? I mean, pag natutuwa lang sila. Ayun. Ito. Have you ever got ten irritated by an annoying customer? I um <laughs> I have. <laughs> okay. I have. I don't want to say um I even got posted online. Oh, my yeah. my cake got viral pa nga before. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Bad publicity. Pero ano? Yeah, pero hindi. Uh, it, I think it's not my fault. It's a miscommunication between me and my customer. Pero Nilet go ko lang siya and then continue to move on. Ngayon, siya rin naka-move on na rin siya. Yeah. Man. Always move forward. <laughs> Ito. Mm-hmm. Um promote your business. Promote business products during class. Never have I ever. Ito yung mga teacher na nag-aano, nagbebenta ng tosino, ganyan. <laughs> Show my ganyan. Show my. <laughs> Pero ikaw nagawa mo na 'yon. Never bawal. <laughs> Bawal na never never talaga. Or, Nakikita nila kasi ano eh, most of my students, mm-hmm. uh, friends ko din sa Facebook. So nakikita nila nagpo-post ako ng mga ano ko, products ko. Pero hindi ko sila na ano na bumili. Sabi ko sa kanila, bili kayo kapag ka, ano graduate na kayo. Pero mm-hmm. if you are my student uh, ngayong school year, bawal. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Jess, it has been a delight having you at Kalingang Katribo today. Uh, final Thank words, you. maybe invite them to make a purchase. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, hi everyone. I'm inviting you to uh, go to my Facebook page. It's uh, The Bakeyard or on my Instagram at the.bakeyard. Thank you so much. Ayan. Jasmine Tarka Wallace of Bakeyard. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that's it for today's Kalingang Katribu. My name is Vernon Velasco. Good afternoon. Thank you.